Welcome back to Broncos franchise as we are taking on the 7-1 Kansas City Chiefs this week. Um, yeah. I, honestly, I fully expect what happened last week against the Ravens, if not probably worse than what happened. Um, I went ahead and did the weekly strategy offline. Um, I just feel like I don't really need to show you guys the drills every every single game because uh, I've really just been cutting them out of the video but yeah I'm I might just start doing them between like off camera between games if you guys are all right with that if not let me know in the comments below but yeah I also have a lot of heartburn right now so if I'm burping this video That'd be why. Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. All right. Let's get this game going. Of course, if we beat the Chiefs here, it would be huge for our morales, but... I don't even think if we win out the rest of the season that we're going to make the playoffs. So it is what it is on what happens. But yeah, I mean, obviously we're trying to win, but we'll see what happens. Xavier Worthy. I should his way forward for the first. I thought he was stopped a little bit short, but I guess not. Coming out, same formation. Kelsey in motion to the left. They're going to look to... What am I doing? Is that Noah Gray? Yeah. Big first down. To the 28. Oh, man. Pass to Rasheed Rice. Abrams drained there. Getting the stop after the game of six. Man, he had everything over the middle, but Abrams drained there getting the sack. That we like to see from our new superstar corner. And another sack, this one coming from Baron Browning. That's going to have KC settle for a field goal. It's fourth and 20. Wide right, no good. All right, we're going to get the ball. Pretty good position, field position here at the 46. Of course, they have Chris Jones on that D line. We're pretty much going to try and avoid here. It's Javante going to lose a yard on that run. Best Dulcich on the sideline. He jumps up, makes a grab, but it looks like he got a foot out of bounds. I thought that looked good, but we'll take another look here, I guess. Yeah, nope. And half his foot was out, man. That's some Marvin Mims, good for the first. He's going to pick up a couple extra up to the 36. Big third down conversion. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And it wasn't a whole lot fancy there. The quarterback just dumps the ball down. Javante trying to go up, way outside. Losing four on that one. Can't find anything going so far on the ground right now. I try and... Another one up the middle. The gain of one note. The loss of one. Brings up third and 15. Oh, man. Looking out of the gun. It's Nick. 
So when the Dosic has to stop and makes the grab over the middle to the 14 now. In the red zone, might have Sutton here. Rick Warren. No pass interference. But, uh, try a jet sweep with, uh, Corey Franklin. He's going to have space, and he's going to get in for a touchdown. As we go up on Kansas City here, nearing the end of the first, two minutes left, going up by seven. Lane a big hit. Going to Kelsey. He hit hard, but he's still making his way through. Just short of the first. I think second and two is going to be the call here, and it is. Pass out to Pacheco. Sertan there laying a hit, and what is going on? All right. Whatever, dude. Whatever, dude. I'm with Pacheco. Uh, let's just make a tack. Guys, come on. 15 yard run there. This game's great. I love this game. Second and a yard. Jesus, we're just killing. Two massive hits on Pacheco. He doesn't go down to the second one. Greedy Williams there couldn't apparently make the tackle with him, but so we have the first up to the eight yard line. Alright. Mahomes of course with the perfect pass. Right to Rishi right to Rishi Rice. And they're gonna tie it up here, seven seven. So yeah, my goal for Cortland Sutton so far, I'm going to have to look at his numbers, but I at least want 800 yards and I would like 10 touchdowns, but I would say 7 touchdowns would be bad for goal with him. If he can get those, yeah, we might just keep, if not, we might trade him. Javante... I don't know. Because we, we have McLaughlin, we have Estime. We're probably going to have two. We're for sure going to have two top ten picks in the draft. One of those might be a top five. So, it, I mean, we can look at running back, but we're not going to draft from that high. So, depending upon what everything looks like, Player-wise in the draft, we could possibly trade back and look for a running back then. Just get rid of Williams, but I like him. I do want to try and, you know, uh, would like to progress him and 
you know, make him a definite franchise running back, but his production in real life just isn't there. And I mean, he had a decent year, got injured. He's been injured like every single year he's played. So it's it's a tough situation with him, but kind of handle it this year and see how his production is. Of course, like I said, we have two solid running backs behind him that uh, they're definitely just relieving running backs. And I, I feel like McLaughlin and Estime are never going to be franchise running backs like you know Saquon Barkley or Jonathan Taylor Taylor or anyone like that but Williams has potential he just got us has to stay healthy and has to put up the numbers to prove it so that's kind of the main goal so we'll see what kind of happens with that they don't have a goal in mind for him but I definitely want better numbers than what he's had the first three years of his career. Fumble! Jordan Brooks jumps on it. I think that was Greedy Williams that knocked it loose. We're right inside the 40 here. That looked like way more than a yard. Yeah, I, I don't know. Man. As you caught that, <laughs> it's kind of a perfect ball, though. Either you know, either our guy gets it or nobody gets it. It's always kind of the angle. That was horrible. I uh, thank you for not picking that, my guy. 54 yard. We'll try it with Lutz. Should be perfect. And it is. 17 7. We go up 10. With just under four minutes to play here in the first half. When did you get hurt? EA, fix this, man. I need to know when somebody dies on my team. Pacheco again, a gain of one, bringing up second and nine. Gonna run again. Gonna pick up five there. Third and three. Four. Like a high didn't even make contact with Rasheed Rice. He's just flopping over here. This could be a first up to the 47. Dude, try to wrap up and he just runs by him. I don't. This game is amazing. Oh, they got me one on one with Kelsey over here. That can only go well. I don't know about that. Kid City with the touchdown. They're going to cut the lead to three. Got a minute 55 left. So first set up to the 29. Just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second 
Get out of my way, Mims. Come on. Third and four. Try another screen here, I guess. Time with McLaughlin. Oh, yeah, it's fucking get caught everywhere, dude. Alright. Greedy Williams slaying a big hit. Uh, I believe that was McCole Hartman. No way they have Jonas Griffith on Xavier Worthy. That's just not even a fair matchup. Get together prior to the second down play. From the shotgun, it's Mahomes. Uh, Sertan with the pick. He's gonna take it all the way back for a pick six. That will put us back up by ten. And that is what we like to see. It's going to be huge for us if we can actually beat Kansas City here. Again, not record-wise, but just a little morale boost. Big hit on McCall Hartman there. By Griffith. The Chiefs and their running back by Isaiah Pacheco. Head out for their next drop. I thought that was a handoff. Greedy Williams with another tackle. Greedy Williams with the pick. He could take it all the way back. Gets pushed out at the eight. 37 seconds left. Greedy Williams. We did sign him after, of course, trading back Sean Murphy Button. Technically blowing out the trade, so. 37 seconds. And McLaughlin just going to run this up. Right up the middle. Great blocks. We're going to go up by 17. 31-14 with 33 seconds left. Dream scenario. The offense handed the ball first and goal. And Greg, they take it to the end zone for six. They're not going to have many easier drives than that, Mike. I mean, to get the ball, not only in a short field, but in a goal-to-go -go situation, you don't get a lot of those chances. You All right, 29 seconds, of course. Mahomes is Mahomes, so. Good chance to go down and score right here, but we'll see what happens. In the opening half. The deficit is 17, so they got to start cutting into it soon. See if it starts here. First and 10. Had to watch Pacheco here. Out of the gun, here's Mahomes. Yep. We have pass to him. Loss of two. Fox is gonna run down six, five, four, three, two. Final play of this first half. Here's Mahomes. Pass to Kelsey. Good for a first, but it doesn't matter. His clock expires, and he should get the ball back at halftime. We're going to go with throw it deep, and we are going to stop the... Defend the deep pass. I think that's what our original game plan was. So, it's been working so far. Just keep it going. Bele. Turn up to the 30. The Broncos offense going to have a first crack at it as we begin this third quarter. Down throw for Nick's. Franklin is good and he's gonna have space. Can't outrun Justin Reed. Taken down at the 33. So two. Five for negative three rushes for Javante right now. Not the numbers we're looking for. Working out of the gun, it's Nick's. 
There's a little Chanel getting back there with the pass breakup. Good read by him. Chris Jones injured. We should probably take advantage of that. So we'll step aside. Javante picking up some positive yards there. Let's do another run with them. Second and five. Chris Jones is out right now, so as many plays we can get right now. Kind of going at that D line. We are going to have to take them. They have two. I just don't know how how long Chris Jones is out for, so. Javante can't punch it in down at the one. We'll go with Wham here. Javante right up the middle. So we go up by, what is that, 24? Yeah, 24. This might be our, not only the most points he scored in a freaking game all season, but biggest lead we have had all season. season he continues to put up the big numbers currently the NFL's leader in passing as we play here in the month of November on first down it's Mahomes Left side in the hands of Bryant. And I don't know why Abram Strain hit stick after I like I hit the hit stick right and then it delayed and then it went first down Probably won't be able to tell on video, but felt weird in person. Sertan there with the pass breakup. What the hell is going on? Keep me on Kelsey, please. It's a better matchup than being on Xavier Worthy, bro. No, I didn't want that. I want this. This matchup by speed he makes here. All the difficult catches tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage, and so far today he certainly lived up to that reputation. They put Kelsey in motion. Mahomes gonna throw here on third. Like a hide hitting Kelsey, but that won't take him down. And he'll be out of bounds, but not before he gets inside so the we'll third. Push him out at the 33. Little screen out to Kelsey there. Getting nothing on that play. Of second and ten. That's my guy. Can't get him. Brandon Jones there making a big hit. Takes him down at the 12. Brandon Jones stepping in front of that one. In the pick. <laughs> Come on. I didn't think I got out. Should have had the sack there. Yeah, 
I did. Mother fricker, dude. No, there's this one. That's a lot in the wrong direction and cost two points. Well, Mike, this doesn't have to be a loss of words. You just don't This is just mad and screw me. Like, nah, you can't beat Kansas City, bro. In this case, if you're the defense, oh my god. They'll come up first and ten at the forty. Should have just taken the touch back. I debate on running it out, then I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I didn't realize I stepped all the way out. My mistake on that one. Working the right side, taken in by Rice. Now a timeout called by the defense. Here's Pacheco. Why are you changing me to home? I'd rather be stuck on the guy in front getting blocked than the guy behind. Oh my god, I almost picked that one. When did you get injured? I don't... Tell me when they get injured, man. Jordan Brooks there jumped from the gap. An attack for loss. Brings up third and 11. She rice up to the 11. Pushed out by Sertan. Pretty good chance at the score here. All right, they're gonna let the clock run down. Race of the fourth. Eight minutes to go in this game. They can still get a first down at the one. First and ten, they go from the eleven. Gray is the motion man here. A first down throw for Mahomes. That's gonna be caught by Gray. Jordan Brooks making a big hit on Jordan Gray. Or Noah Gray, not Jordan Gray. On second down, Mahomes. Floater up to Hollywood Brown. Caught for a touchdown. They are going to review it. Yeah, I think he got it. Yeah. So All right. Ruled a touchdown originally. They didn't find any reason to overturn it, and it stays on the board. <laughs> Overthrown for Kelsey. Would have made it a 14-point game, but instead makes it a 16. So they decide to put the ball in the air, which I don't mind on this two-point try, but. Execution was just a little bit off and it's not gonna work out in their favor this time around. Up to the 30. Here comes the Denver offense. And this could very well turn out to be the shocker of the weekend. Not too many people around the league were expecting them to come in here and win, but they are on the verge of I wanted something, but then I saw Franklin get open a little bit more and I pump fake and panicked and yeah. It not what I wanted to do at all. Big throw to Dulcich, wide open. Up to the 30. Bo going to take off, getting the first up to the 18. Dulcich in the zone. Offense is kind of cooking right now. And he buys a little bit of space. He'll take this forward for a gain of four. Off the play fake, here's Nix. Oh, oh, that would have been a touchdown. I should have just rolled out right. Is incomplete. This defense in desperate need of a stop. And here comes third down. 
Dulcich out at the one. It's a little risky of a pass. Should have been picked off by whoever the corner was over there. This one to Estime. Can't punch it in. We'll run it back. Just kidding. Is that Jonas Griffith injured. Fonte going to take it up the middle. He scores again. Up by 22. We're going to make it 23. And we do. Up by four scores. team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away this returnable from the four He'll work his way across the 25 all right just gotta hold him out for five minutes here no stupid plays great defense first in ten. make some magic happen here throwing from the gun here's Brooks making a big hit, forcing the fumble. Abrams drained diving on it. We are going to have to turn the fumbles down a little bit. It's been way too many on hit sticks. Like, I get it, making big hits, but I, I feel like that's way too many. Big pass to Sutton. Up within the red zone now. Exact same play we just ran. Pass to Sutton. Steps in front of it. Gets a touchdown. It's going to put us up 52 to 22. Up by 30 now. The kick by Lutz is good. And the Broncos add on to their own. I thought this game was going to be way harder, but way easier than against the Ravens, man. As the kicks away. Here comes a return from the five. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. The Chiefs offense getting set to get back to work. Things not looking good. But he can get the turnaround going here. We'll Sertan with the pass breakup. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand, so it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day. As to Worthy, making a crazy grab and turn up field. Third and three now. Let's see what Kansas City looks to do. Of course, they're going to go to Kelsey. Taken down after picking up the first. Up to the 42. What? Why are you... Why did switch me to Micah Hyde there? There's literally two guys have around Mahomes one guy in between Mahomes and Hyde I I didn't get it this game never stops amazing bro up by 30 two minutes left I doubt that we're losing this if we do lose this I'm just gonna stop uploading Stop playing, stop up on. Greenberg should have picked that. But linebackers do not know how to pick on user teams. Had to throw. Hollywood Brown to the 13. Let me just see what uh, Travis Kelsey was doing here. Uh, it doesn't even go. He's doing like a little hop hop. Being a little bunny rabbit pre-play. 
Happy snap. Space getting tight here. Down to the 13 yard line. They work first and 10. Micah Hyde. <laughs> Literally right to him. Picks it off. Takes it out. He could take it back and he doesn't. He gets tackled at the 25-ish. Old man Micah Hyde. Not enough juice in the tank. Cash it in. 17. That's 25. Williams gain of one. We're just going to keep it on the ground with him, I think. Absolutely nothing cooking there. Do need to get a skull stitch, though. Keep his X Factor alive. Fourth and nine, we'll probably just go for it. Just as he had to be targeted. Didn't say anything about catching it. Abrams Drain almost had the pick. He's got the pass deflection in there. Just gonna throw that one away. 41 seconds left, third and ten. It's incomplete. Two incompletions to start the drive, and it leads to third down and ten. They put Kelsey in motion. Mahomes now out of the gun here on third down. Mahomes stepping up just to throw it away. He should have just taken off with it, but decided that wasn't a good idea for some reason. Even though he was had all the whole field in front of him. Marvin Mims making a man miss. And another man miss. Taken down around the 48. Oh, Nick's might just throw some bombs here. Looking like he's back in Oregon. Throwing it up to Troy Franklin. It's increasing this Bronco lead. Shit's hard to the lineman up there. I thought Dulcich would have stayed in bounds, but negative Ghost Rider. Looking to make it 60 to 22, but ball comes out. Oh yeah, it's got to get turned down when Riley Moss is forcing fumbles now. Mike, you know the saying, when it rains... That's a Sutton. Good. Tackled out of bounds. We're going to score as much as we can here. I don't care if it's unsportsmanlike. We need this. Need this morale boost for our team, man. It's Cortland Sutton getting a touchdown. Second one today. Fake it again. Over to the big boy. Four of four. Alright. Alright. GG's, boys. Winning by 42 against the Kansas City Chiefs. What is happening? In Arrowhead, too. 
scheduled matchups. Not a chance to go for the season sweep. And Reed pissed off about that season. loss. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tarico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, all right, looking at the stats here, Mahomes went 31 for 42. Three touchdowns, four interceptions, and 345 yards. Uh, Bo Nix went 16 for 26, throwing 336. Three touchdowns, no interceptions. Change of pace there for us, huh? Uh, Rushing-wise, Javante Williams, 15 for 22, two touchdowns. Uh, McLaughlin, four for 23, two touchdowns. Troy Franklin, one for 15 and a touchdown. SMA one for negative one. Knicks, one for 13. Receiving, Sutton, top receiver here. Four for 64, two touchdowns. Troy Franklin, four for 113 and a touchdown. Dulcich, four for 104, nothing, no touchdowns. Marvin Mims, two for 42. Gotham, one for six. And Williams, one for seven. Uh, defensively, one sack for Browning and AD. One pick for Greedy Williams, Micah Hyde, Pat Sertan, and Brandon Jones. Uh, one forced fumble for Riley Moss, Jordan Brooks, Greedy Williams. Fumble recovery from Jordan Brooks and Abram Strain. And, of course, a touchdown for Pat Sertan. Beautiful day to beat the Chiefs. Let's see if we get a breakout next week. Would be nice, would be nice. Very nice. Lots of upgrades here. Jordan Brooks, we are going to put Field General on him. Get him up to a 77. Bo Nix. Probably just go strong arm. Him up to a 77. McLaughlin. Gotta go elusive on him. I think after this one, we're gonna start doing receiving back. It's because, yeah, he's gonna be our main third down back, and would like to get that receiving upgraded for when he's on screens. Cody Barton out for the rest of this week. Uh, Jonas Griffith out for. Four weeks. Jail Skinner will be back next week as well. All right. Next week we are taking on the Atlanta Falcons. Any breakout scenarios? Running back breakout. McLaughlin maybe? No, it's Williams. He didn't do anything. Mock draft two is out. Let's take a look at where we're sitting in stats wise. Passing, we are second in yards. 2476. Six in touchdowns with Rodgers and Jaden Daniels. Of course, we're leading in interception thrown. Dulcich almost had 1,000 yards already. Uh, let's see here. Touchdowns. Dulcich up there with eight. Uh, I think we got quite a few picks with Abram Strain, so he should be... Pretty high up here. Only at four. I thought he was at at least five, no? Maybe I'm tripping. Obviously I'm tripping because it says four. Sertan with four as well. Alright. So let's go turn down. Gameplay slider. Let's go turn down that fumble slider. Oh, 
Alt security. Yeah, it's player skill. Turn it up 55. Maybe they got a little bit better. Ball security and hopefully that helps. Let's take a look at the mock draft here. Running back supposed to go one overall. Again, do we we don't really know anything about any of these guys, but right now they have us taking Terrell Sutton and Tyler Dawkins, both left tackles. We have 12 and 4 right now for picks, so yeah, we'll see what happens. Of course, we gotta know a little bit more about these scouts or about these prospects, and then we'll kind of evaluate from there. We are up to 65 on a lot of safeties, it looks like. And then 50 on receivers and tackles. 40. 35 to 40 on running backs and defensive line and centers. And pretty much 30 on everything else, so. Yeah, I think we'll hold off on looking at those guys until week 13 when we go up against the Browns. So we will have our um, uh, individual trainings that we can do. I was drawing a blank on the name for it. But yeah, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Thank you for tuning in. And I will see you guys in the next video when we take on Atlanta. Till then, stay cool. Peace.